it's becoming much more a prominent issue for this generation because they are going to be a smaller number of young people compared to the baby boomers that are aging out. And the way I pitch it to the students is you will have to deal with old people. <laughs> People over the centuries, in many cultures, every culture around the world, passed, passed down knowledge and information and ways to live and ways to be through oral sources and storytelling. And so really, this is just a continuation of that process. And when I think of cross-generational storytelling, I think it is as, as a sort of a, a cultural memory transfer. Everyone has a lot of shared life experiences and kind of getting past the generational differences and saying, hey, we have so much more in common than we have that's uncommon is, I think, one of the huge benefits of storytelling. How do you think times have changed since when you grew up to now? Uh, I started kindergarten. Water runs downstream. It's your responsibility as an older person to share or be responsible or um, warn. <laughs> Uh, younger people um, probably share what you've learned. What are we trying to do here? We're trying to build community, we're trying to teach our students to be good writers, we're teaching them how to be good community members, active participants in society, and advocates for their own voices and their own educational experience. And I think this project embodies all those things. They gotta get out of the classroom, they gotta write stuff, they gotta talk to people they don't know. They have to learn to na navigate those uncomfortable situations and produce a big project at the end. And also to put themselves out there too. Those are all great life skills for them. The, the life project, um, I didn't see people as their story. I saw them as, oh, they're just, they're just there. And so I guess every time I interact with people, I want to know who, who they are in more of a sense of their story. Um, so it opened my eyes a lot into seeing the world differently. Every night I hear that train a blowing down the track. The whistle it echoes, echoes my name like a voice that's calling me back.